Well, I was gifted this beautiful Craftsman 9 inch wood lathe, circa 1940. It's a very nice piece of equipment, and it came with this motor, uh, which is about 3,500 RPMs. And is a variable speed wood lathe, and you vary the speed by moving the belt uh, between the different pulleys. And normally you would have another one of these flipped upside down on the motor so that you just move the belt on both and uh, move the motor up and down uh, to keep the tension on it. But that's not going to work here because the motor is about twice as many RPMs as was intended for this lathe. Uh, and putting a bigger pulley on the motor uh, is just going to have it spinning way too fast. So, um, I need just a fixed speed pulley on the motor, and I need, which means I need the uh, motor to move back and forth. So this was kind of an interesting engineering project. Um, I needed to move in steps, and there's about 18 millimeters in each step here. So I need four steps, 18 millimeters each. And when you move uh, the belt, the motor goes up and down about 14 millimeters each time you change one of the steps. So the idea is that the entire motor base needs to move at this 38 degree angle determined by uh, the length of the belt as you move it between the different pulleys. And the length of the belt you know, determines it for this side, but it needs to be, it needs to travel at the same angle on the back side of the base too. Uh, this 38 degrees and perpendicular to that is 52. So, uh, from the top, uh, from the bottom side of the bench, if this comes down at a 52 degree angle, it'll give you roughly, uh, obviously it's not going to move in a straight line, but it's pretty close, uh, especially if you measure the base from the midpoint of the belts uh, to the back, um, you know, that kind of math isn't going to get you to Mars, but it's good enough for mounting a, a benchtop lathe, I think. And this is what it looks like. So I just needed something to create direct downward tension and then, uh, be easily movable, uh, between the different settings. I figured something like a quick release F clamp with some kind of bracket would work and uh, this was the original idea uh, just to use uh, maybe like a U-bolt on the bottom of the base here that would hook into each of these depending on where what speed you wanted the lathe to be running at and uh, I found a quick release F clamp and uh, Obviously the bracket didn't exist in nature, so I had to make that. And uh, this one, this F clamp actually came with a removable head, so all I had to do was unscrew that. Uh, that was handy. I didn't have to cut it off or anything, uh, but I did have to make this bracket. So here's how it works. I got the bottom of the F clamp set into the workbench just to keep it out of the way. The bracket rides on these races, and there's a U-bolt at the bottom of the base that fits into each of the grooves, depending on what speed you need. And when you need tension, just give it a couple of cranks. When you need to loosen it up, sort of wiggle it in the, almost into place here. And then change the position of the belt. Give it a couple more cranks when it's in the next groove and you're good to go. So it's a simple concept, but as with everything else I do, about at least 10 times as much work as I thought it would be. Uh, but, you know, it was a good excuse to buy myself a nice drill press. You know, tools, using tools to make tools to ultimately make tools. <laughs>